exponents, just the rules. The first rule we're going to look at is called product of powers. Basically what it means is when I have the same base, I just add their exponents. So let me show you the proof for that one. x squared is the same thing as x times x. x to the third is x times x times x. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five x's or x to the fifth. That's the same thing as saying x to the two plus three, which is x to the fifth. Let's look at the next one. Power to a power. That means when I have a power, this guy, to another power, all I have to do is multiply them. So let me show you how that one works. Let's say I have x squared to the fourth power. That means I have x squared four times. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now let's count how many exponents we have. Two, four, six, eight. So that would be x to the eighth. Well, that's the same thing as saying x to the two times four, which is x to the eighth. Let's look at the next one. Let's say I have a product of a power. That means I have a product and it's to a power. You'll notice that the power gets distributed to everything in the parentheses. So let me show you how that works. xy squared is the same thing as saying xy times xy. Well, how many x's do we have? Two, so that's x squared. And how many y's do we have? Two, so that's y squared. That's the same thing as x squared y squared, which follows our formula. Let's look at the next one. Now we're going to start talking about quotient. And remember, quotient means division. When I divide and my bases are the same, now that's important. My bases always have to be the same. All you have to do is subtract their exponents. Let me show you how that works. x to the fourth is x times x times x times x. And x to the third is x times x times x. Well, remember, if I had 2 over 2, that means 1. So x over x cancels to 1 x over x cancels to 1, x over x cancels to 1, which leaves me with x. Well, that's the same thing as if I said x to the 4 minus 3, which is x to the first. Now remember, we don't have to write that 1 there, and we usually don't. x to the first means just x. How about the power of a quotient? Well, once again, I have a division here. But just like when we were doing multiplication, the exponent goes to each part. So let me show you how that works. So x to the third is x divided by y times x divided by y times x divided by y. Well, how many x's do we have on the top? Yep, three. So that's why I have x to the third and how many y's do I have on the bottom? 3, y to the third. So far, so good. Let's say I have a power of 0, or the 0 power. Anything, doesn't matter what the base is, raised to the 0 power is 1. So let me show you how that works. Let's say I have x to the third over x to the third. Well, that would be x times x times x over x times x times x. Well, remember when we divide, x over x is 1, x over x is 1, and x over x is 1, which leaves me with 1. Remember, when we divide, we subtract their exponents. x to the 3 minus 3 is x to the 0. So I just proved to you that x to the 0 equals 1 negative exponents. 
Well, this one you're going to have to memorize. Anytime I have a negative exponent, it actually flips to the denominator as a positive. If the negative exponent is in the denominator, it actually flips to the top as a positive. So let's say I had x to the negative 2. That would be the same as 1 over x squared. Remember, I could write this as over 1. So what's happening is, if it's a negative exponent in the top, it goes to the denominator. Well, what happens if it's a negative exponent in the denominator? Well, it flips to the top and becomes positive. Now remember, we don't have to write x squared over 1. We would just call it x squared. And yep, this one you need to memorize. Thanks. For exponent worksheets, go to www.pycrest.com.